All right, final leg. So, of course, the Diamond League just capped off with the Brussels Diamond League final, but there's been some great performances all across the world from athletes not competing at the Diamond League and in other co competitions. So, let's take a look at some of those performances. First off, we had Yulimar Rojas. She was competing in Spain just yesterday. She managed to jump a huge 15.41 meter jump in that women's triple jump. That is the second farthest jump in triple jump history for the women. Huge performance from her. She's a 2017 world champion. She's going for a defense of her title in Doha, and she's the absolute clear favorite. That world record, it dates back to 1995, so 24 years is the farthest jump ahead of what she just did here today. So 15.41, again, the second farthest jump in triple jump history for the women. She is a clear favorite going into the Doha World Championships. Now, at the same meet in Spain, we had Karani James in the 400 meters. We haven't seen him since last year. He's been injured for the past two years. He only competed three times last year. This is his first race of 2019. He managed to run a best of 44.47 seconds. Great performance for him in to win that 400 meters. This is showing that he's kind of getting back on the right track. Last season, he ran 44.35 when he was still injured. So 44.47 after nothing this year is showing that he's definitely going to be going for a spot on the pole in Tokyo 2020. So hopefully he gets back healthy and we're going to see him in the Olympics next year. Now jumping over to Switzerland, we had the men's 100 meters. We had Justin Gatlin going up against Michael Rogers. Both of them are on the team to Doha. Gatlin managed to take the win in 9.97 seconds. Great performance from him. Rogers came up for second in 10 flats. So great performances by both these guys. But then they followed up with a performance in Zagreb, Croatia, where Michael Rogers, he managed to take the win in 10.04 seconds. Gatlin, unfortunately, he pulled up he finished the race but he pulled up he said it was a little cramp so a little hazy on how he's going to be going into Doha he's definitely one of the favorites for a spot on the podium he's the 2017 world champion but Michael Rogers is definitely going to be fighting for a spot on the podium when we get to Doha as well now still in Zagreb Croatia we had Phyllis Francis the 2017 world champion going up against Allison Felix the mole one of the most accomplished athletes in track and field history in the sprints but Francis managed to get the win in 51.02 seconds so a little bit away of what she's likely going to have to do to get on that podium in Doha. Felix came up for second in 51.67 seconds. So not under the 51 second barrier that some people were probably looking for her to do, but she's proving that she's definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with when we get to the Doha relay specifically. Of course, she didn't make the individual team, but she's going to be on a spot in the relay, either the mixed relay or the open relay, or maybe even both as well. Then she's definitely going to be preparing for an individual spot at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics next year. So keep a lookout for both these ladies, specifically Francis in the open 400 meters, and then Felix in the women's 400 meter relay. Now, moving over to the Berlin meet, we had some great performances there as well. In the men's 100 meters, Andre de Grasse, before he ran his 19.87 at the Brussels Diamond League, he ran 9.97 in the 100 meters. That's another season's best for him. He's showing that he's really progressing and getting back to his old form before he got that injury that he suffered back in 2017. Right behind de Grasse, though, we had Simbine from South Africa. He managed to run 9.9 seconds. So, really great performances from both these guys in that 100 meters. Then in the men's 110 meter hurdles. Omar McLeod, who's kind of been a little quiet this season, he managed to come away with a comfortable win, 13.07 seconds. That's a season's best for him. Great performance and showing that he's going to be going for a defense of his 2017 world title. So keep a lookout for the 100 meters and the men's 110 hurdles. Now, finishing things off at the Africa Games, we had them going down in Rabat. The men's 100 meters, we had Raymond Ekevo from Nigeria. He managed to get the win in that 100, 9.96 seconds. Great performance from him. He managed to take the win a little upset over Arthur Cisse from Ivory Coast in 9.97 seconds. So great performances by both these guys in that 100 meters at the Africa Games. Alright, so those are some of the highlights of performances outside of the Diamond League. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Let me know your favorite performances both in the Diamond League and outside the Diamond League. Some of them that I might have missed myself. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we're going to be leading into those Doha World Championships coming up in just about three weeks time. Alright, thanks for watching.